Let's back up a bit and consider exporting to an ODBC compatible database. Now the wizard will allow us to save the actual images either to the database or to a folder. We then can establish a connection to our database. We can click the setup button and be presented with a wizard to help make that connection to the database. To make the connection, we can select Microsoft OLEDB Provider for ODBC Drivers, and then we can select Use Connection String right there, and then click Build. Then we can select an existing DSN or click New and this DSN is pointing to our database. I can then test the connection and know that I'm communicating with my database. And then I can set up field correspondence. In other words, I can establish links between document fields and the database table columns. And that is done through field mappings. I also have the ability to create tables automatically. That could be a really good move to make. Your ultimate goal may be to map Flexi Capture fields to your existing database table fields, but it may be a really good idea to first just let Flexi Capture create the tables within your database. And then you can study the new tables field structure. This way, you know what kind of data, what format, is being exported by FlexiCapture. Here we can set up field mapping. This manual selection process is aided by this GUI interface, where once again, we can see the names of our fields and the names in whatever target table in our database we're shooting for. You can specify a separate table or the same table for each document section, and if a column to which data from some form field is to be exported is missing in the table, it can be added to the existing table automatically. And for this, it's enough to just leave the corresponding name of the document field alone, and these auto brackets will indicate that those fields will be created automatically if needed. Or you can just select a desired field and click the Auto button. If a new table whose name and column names are different from the document definition field names needs to be created in this Fields Correspondence Settings dialog, use the New button to create a table for each field. There's also move up and move down buttons to manage the sequence order of columns in the automatically created table of a database. Some general export notes now. When you export to a database, images can be saved either in a database table or into a folder. If images are exported to a PDF file, you can specify the format quality, type, standard, and version of the document. Also, you can change image resolution and choose to use MRC Mixed Raster Content Method of Image Compression. You can add a text layer, create a document for fast web view, or enable a tagged PDF. Select your recognition language for a searchable PDF or PDFA. Note that pictures are exported to separate files. The name and path to the picture file can be stored in the corresponding field of the database. If the path to the target folder for images contains a network disk, ensure that all the processing stations do have access to that location. If the path to the target folder for pictures contains a network folder, ensure that all the processing stations working with the project have read-write access to those network folders. So whatever that processing station's service is logged in as, 
whatever ID it's logged in as, make sure that login ID has read-write access to those target network folders. Another option we can now look at is uh, having an export via a script. This will allow you to export to virtually any application, and here you want to specify whether or not the export is obligatory. What that boils down to is by clicking the critical checkbox, it means that if the export doesn't finish, if it doesn't complete, then the batch that the document was in will go to the exceptions queue. And there will be logging that takes place that indicates that it was a failed export. You want to keep this critical feature in mind. We have the ability to select the language we want to script our export in. And once selected, we then type in our script code right in this editor window. Don't forget to use the check button to check for scripting errors.